Hi guys, it's Miss McGann. Uh, we're talking about finding the missing exponent in exponent expressions. So we're going to use our power rules, the quotient rule, the product rule, and the power rule to kind of simplify our expressions to solve for x or solve for the missing number. Uh, so we have 5 to the third power times 5 to the x missing exponent equals 5 to the 12th power divided by 5 to the 7th power. So we're going to use our properties, use our rules to simplify. When we multiply, we are adding our exponents. Make sure that they have a like base. So this is, uh, oops, sorry. Uh, so since they have like bases, what we would do is we'd be adding those exponents. Since we're trying to find the missing exponent, we're actually going to write, take all those exponents and write them as an expression or solving you know, a two-step, three-step, multi-step equation. So we have three plus x. We don't know what x is yet. And then when we're dividing like bases, we actually subtract the exponent. So it equals 12 minus 7. So this is our new expression written from taking all those exponents and putting it into an equation or an expression. So three plus some number equals 12 minus 7. Well, let's simplify. Combining like terms, what is 12 minus 7? 5. Awesome. So now we have 3 plus some number equals 5. And who remembers, how are we going to get x by itself? We want to figure out what the number equals. So we want the variable on one side and the answer of the number on the other side. So this is positive. So we're going to subtract 3 from both sides. Those will cancel out. We'll be left with x equals 5 minus 3 is 2. So x equals 2. 2 is our missing exponent here. Let's try this next one. I know this one kind of crowded in, but we have a to the second power, a squared, raised to the x power, equals a to the 11th power, divided by a to the 7th, times a to the 8th. So we have 2 raised to the x. We know that we multiply. You could also write it as 2 times x. I just put it as 2x because that's another way to say multiplication. And then we have 11 minus 7 plus 8, right? This would be a subtraction, and then we'd be adding those together. So let's combine our like terms here. 11 minus 7 is 4 plus 8 is 12. We have 2x equals 12. How are we going to get x by itself? This is multiplication, so we are going to divide. 12 divided by 2 is 6, so our missing exponent here is 6. Let me know if you guys have any other questions or came across any uh, weird setups for missing exponents, but go ahead and practice on your own. Hey, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.